Riff of the week number four, Serpentine Sibilance by 1349. Nice simple riff on a really underrated album and a very, very good guitar tone that's been recorded on the album. Right. So there's only three chord shapes that we need to learn here. One is the traditional low E power chord, which I'm sure a lot of you know. The second are just generic and widely used three note power chords. And the third of which is these triad shapes with the added fifth interval on the low E. Now, if you've seen a lot of my previous videos, you know about this chord shape already. But let's go through it. So the first part of the riff. Nice and easy. So we've got the low E power chord. Then F. A flat. G. E. Then F and A flat again. And then we have the, the part of the riff where we need to play these triad shapes. And there's a really cool rhythm, rhythmic thing going on here. So there's this nice little break. Which is really quite simple. So you've got the low E, far muted. Then the E flat chord tremolo picked. Now the frets are six on E, 6 on A, 4 on D, 3 on G. Then after the E flat power chord, you've got another low E chug. And then three tremolo picked chords. You've got F minor, G minor, and A flat minor. So if you need to lead with a finger, lead with your little finger, because this finger is what's playing the root notes. So it'll be 6, 8, 10, 11. And the whole riff. It's a really nice, powerful riff we have there. Cool, that was Riff of the Week number four, Serpentine Sibilance by 1349.